So before we start this video, I have to know, did you guys sleep on this release? If yes, let me know why. If no, I'll see you guys. What is up everybody? Welcome to the Sneaker Circle. It is your boy Danny and I'm here to cover a pretty slept on release. Now, don't get me too wrong. They did sell out on sneakers. They have been selling out on online in different boutiques, especially overseas, mainly overseas. Now, this shoe I managed to like scourge up over here at Kith Miami. They were just sitting. No one's really buying these down here because on the aftermarket, they are pretty much breaking. And that's okay. Goes to show that this is a shoe meant for people who actually want them. Now, runners aren't really popular right now, but I'm just gonna get straight into the shoe. Here's a quick look at that tag. Screenshot it if you need it. And here you go, a little unboxing magic for those that like to view what it's like to unwrap the shoes. Let me get these out. I'm gonna be right back. So Nike's approach to a premium upgrade for the Power All models from back in 2006. This is what these are supposed to be. For those that don't know, Powerwall Air Max ones are some of the most popular Air Maxes you could probably get. They're from the 06 era and they basically look like this. Have this calligraphy on the side. They come in different colorways. The most popular colorway being black pink, pure pink, and then the yellow with the green hints, which is the inverse of this one. As you can tell, there's green for the majority and they're called limeades. The yellow ones are called lemonades. They do not have the detailing of the lemons here. This is like a 2020 thing that they're trying to do. Nike's summer splash or whatever the detailing on sneakers called it, which is weird. You have details of limes right there in the insole. And I gotta admit, I'm absolutely loving this shoe because let's be honest, any sneaker or Air Max from 2006 to this day is probably not wearable. And if you do try to wear it, it's too much of a risk or you have to soul swap it or there's a lot of tender care and love that people just don't have the money or time or patience to deal with. This is a nice alternative. So Nike gives us what they call a premium upgrade on those models. Now the leather is better than what we see in these normal releases, especially if you compare them to the dunk releases that are priced at $100, while well, these are priced at $140. You do get the Air Max technology, but you gotta understand that is technology as old as 87. So it's the same air bubble unit. It's the same sole thickness, maybe not the same exact sole thickness, but something pretty similar. On the detailing of the shoe, all of the air calligraphy right here that you see that makes the shoe really pop and stand out is a slight type of 3M. So it does shine ever so slightly. I'll see if I can get it. I think my light is a little bit too powerful. The swoosh itself on both sides is, uh, is a patent leather. And you do get this nice little air detail in the back that yellow hint which on the on the reverse pair of this one would be green versus all yellow now there are rumors saying that that yellow pair might retro alongside with these so in the foreseeable future we might see them this does feel like a rushed release when it comes to nike's end because they're calling it a splash for your summer rotation but at least over here in florida we're already approaching the fall so maybe it's the last summer shoe they intended to release, or maybe it was a shoe that was affected by COVID that really didn't get to release all that quickly. So really quick, taking a look at all the laces that come along with the shoe, you do get options of flat greens, flat whites, and a combination of both colors. I feel like whites are definitely the ones to push forward. Sizing on these is basically go with whatever you're comfortable if you wear a lot of running shoes. I think these are pretty padded compared to older um, Air Maxes from the last couple of years. So definitely stick true to size if you are um, slim, if you are wide foot, maybe go half up a size ever so slightly. If you have a really narrow foot, you might even want to go down a size. So those are the recommendations I'm going to leave out there. All those three right there. That's where I'm going to leave this review. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this pretty short video on a pair of shoes I am super excited for. These are for the toe. Now my question off to you guys is, did you manage to buy these? Were they for you slash the toe? Or did you try to buy these and resell and then they brick and you think you're gonna sit on them or whatever you're gonna do? Subscribe over here, or you can watch this playlist that YouTube thinks is pretty baller for you. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace. Drop a comment down below, do some things, fucking, Saw your collection. I don't know. Bye.